back to my channel. So, behind us, are we in the United States or are we in Thailand? Hmm. Who well, as you guys don't know, we spent the last year in Asia and five of those months we spent in Thailand. We so, did. today, we're here in Dallas, Texas, going to show you guys what an American Thai festival is like. Absolutely. So, before we get started, however, go down to the description bar below and follow us over on Facebook and Instagram and also hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up so you don't miss any further videos. That's right. So, we got my money in pocket. We smell the Thai curry, we, we hear the Thai language. You ready? I'm ready. Thai inhaler. We're ready. Let's go. Tacos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've literally only been here like five minutes and we're already just like our mouths are salivating. Everything that we like we can get in Thailand is here. Like here, here. Even my green tea, you guys. This is oh it's a big deal. This is crazy. They even have the Thai staple elephant pants. Well, first, first initial thoughts. First thoughts. Um, it's not big, but it's pretty authentic. Pretty authentic. The yeah. They look at the same staple, but they have papaya salad, which Amanda was wanting. They've been seeing a lot of curry, but they have a lot of fried foods, which is Mango sticky pretty, rice. pretty authentic too. They have a lot of fried foods for street food in Thailand. Yeah. So it's pretty. I mean, spot on. They and even they have, have the elephant pants. And they have my dessert tacos. Well, I don't call them tacos. They call them dessert. Like whatever they're way I would call. So, I'm not sure we're gonna them. load up. We're gonna have lunch here, and I think we'll get some things to take back to the family, and then we'll move about our day. Yeah. I can't resist you guys. I went straight for the mango sticky rice. We're supposed to bring some home, but I'm gonna eat one first, and then we'll take some to the rest of the family. <laughs> tell you how much I've missed this. Yes. Tastes just like I remember. How much was it? Five dollars. Which is more than Thailand, but not bad. Garlic pork and sticky rice. It's like one of the Roman Thai Thai like, specialties. We love it so much. So if we usually cost like around, you get it for like a dollar. Here I'm sure it's a lot more than a dollar. Are made up right there. Actually, it's like a cut of pork. So, a little bit better quality, maybe, than what we were really used to. But this is our name staple when we're in Thailand. Like, we go. Chiang Mai. Huh? Chiang Mai. In, in, in Chiang Mai, because they oh. only had that in Chiang Mai. Yeah, Chiang Mai. You go to like, the mall there, and you're 30 baht, you get, you get both of these things and get bigger helping. But five bucks, this is five dollars US. It's not too bad. All right. Uh oh. Different taste. Really? A little bit drier. But mm, it's still good though. Try the rice. Oh. You know what's good when you have to pull it apart like that? I don't, you know, I wish we were able to mash this before we left Thailand because it's so good, sticky rice. It's like, it's like eating dough, kind of. But 
I don't know how to explain it. Do you know how to explain it? No. I don't know. It's it's like rice, but just really sticky. Like it seems obvious. I forgot how to do this because so mm. good. That was super good, you guys. But I really I had a realization. I think the reason the pork is a little drier and tougher is because it's not the same pork. Like the way they raise animals and things to be eaten in those countries is totally different than what they do here. So that's probably the reason for the difference. But the taste is pretty spot on. Good. If you want a cold, fresh coconut here, it's $5. I'll get thirsty now, so I'm gonna get some traditional just Thai iced tea with boba pearls. Thai iced tea with boba, $3. I think I forgot to tell you earlier, but Amanda's was $2.50. Actually, 50 cents for the boba. Uh, authentic. I mean, of course. Okay. Super excited. Khao soy. It's a really grilled Thai specialty. Uh, their soup that we love. If you watch any of our Chiang Mai vlogs, fantastic. You can't find it anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. They have it here at this booth. So we ordered it to go. Oh man, so, but we're, we're full now, so I don't really want to eat it, but I want to save it for life because we can't find it anywhere. What'd you get? So, oh, heaven, heaven, like, this is the Thai taco. <laughs> it's like a little marshmallow, like egg, egg fluff in there with like some shredded coconut salt and pepper. I almost don't want to try it. I want to save it with my family because I want to save them. You have four more for your family. Get in there. That's a heart cell. <laughs> um, uh huh. So, I found out they're here every week, every Sunday. All of these places are here every Sunday. I, a lot of them. Yeah, I, I'm going to live down here on I, Sunday. I mean, the thing, ironic thing is, these guys are from Chiang Mai. So, they know, they know. <laughs> uh, Was. Our belly's full, plus some, we have... Stuff for people to try. <laughs> Got to go home and show our family, which have never had authentic, authentic Thai, which is, this is, of course you're going to get excited going to Bangkok. We found out they're me. here every Sunday. Yeah, so our mind's been blown, now we'll be back quite often, I think. It's an, it's an hour drive from our place, but still. Worth it? Yeah. So, we want to bring his family next time, because she asked me when I got the pie salad, Thai spicy? I thought, huh? <laughs> Yeah, so shout out to all the guys who helped organize this. This is, this is amazing. It's pretty amazing. We'll be back next year for sure. Uh, if you have a chance to come support them, this is, this is a great opportunity to do that. So thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And, and check out the podcast, and we'll see you next time. See you guys.